Well, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, wherever your current live situation is. Hello, YouTube. This is Jeff Kite coming back at you again with another episode of Kite's Curiosities. And this will be my, I guess, final uh, installment of the Caleb's Cards Junk Wax Challenge for 2022. And, uh, the Junk Wax Challenge for this year was Caleb with the 1990 score Major League Baseball cards. I got these a long time ago. <laughs> and trying to work through that master's program, I was like, I, I got I can't be doing no YouTube and and working on the hobby stuff. I had to get that I had to get that taken care of and uh thankful to now finally have that behind me but as you can see these are all legit i had i mean they all came back like you know within the time frame i think today is the last day so i need i need to get this video out so i can get my name in the hat and see where i stand in these uh challenges but here's one from portland oregon march 9th 2022 this one, just trust me on it. Um, I know it was a Caleb's card return because I, I mark, see the little blue triangle up here in the top left-hand corner because this is a Caleb's card return. So um, no stamp. I don't know. So I don't know what happened with that. But anyway, paid the postman and got my got my mail. This uh, part's unknown, uh, but there's the blue tick up at the top. Just if you can, Caleb, please trust me on it. Um, I'm not trying to cheat nobody. Uh, Jacksonville, Florida, March 17th. And how's this? Metroplex, Michigan, March 16th, 2022. So. So there they are. These are my five. I don't. I haven't sent out any any TTMs in a while. I think this was. This is gonna wrap up all the ones that I could get that I had good addresses for. Uh, Frank Thomas. I never saw a private signing for him. Uh, R.J. Reynolds never found a good address. Lee Mazzelli, Lloyd Mosby, and Craig Lefferts. All them. It's about the same. So. All right, so let's get started here. We got, it's coming from Clinton Township, Michigan, the Athlete Connection. I think I know who this is. Look up here at the top, get this. And I'll put it right there. Photographs do not bend. what they do? They bend it up, buddy. Yeah, this is what they do. Hey, something, something else in there. Nope, no what? Got back, Mr. Dan Petrie. Uh, Dan Petrie, pitcher for the Angels. He was a Detroit Tiger on that famous 1984 World Series championship team. He won how many? He won 18 games that year. Yeah, 18 games. So. It was a big time part of that championship run here. I might try to get him later on a old Tigers cards. Let's see, Jacksonville, Florida. There it is, a little blue thing. Oops, let me check, make sure. Here we go. There's the man, Storm Davis. Nice. Got him on the 90 score. We're going to display that one right there. There's the Bowman. Oh, yeah, the 89 tops. 
I wanted to try to get some of him on his other cards because, I mean, mail's so expensive now. I mean, might as well send multiple cards out. You know, try not to send just one. Get Make you... Make your returns worth it. Make you make your money worth it. So very happy to get Mr. Storm Davis back. Nice. That's a good one right there. So all right. Oh, ain't he marking off the list here? Let's mark off Mr. Storm Davis. Ah, uh, Dan Petrie, he's right up here. Dan the man back up here. There go. All right. Good returns. Good returns. Uh, yeah, nothing else in there. Nothing else in there. Uh, well, hold on. I got a little letter here. Man. Oh, it was just a blank piece of paper came with that Storm Davis return. So he put that in there to protect the cards. Very nice. Very nice storm, Mr. Davis. Appreciate you. Oh, Columbus, Georgia native right there. Him and his brother, Glenn. They played ball down there in Columbus, Georgia growing up. Let's see. This is parts unknown here. I don't know where this is from. Yeah, knock that down. And a little blue indicator. Yes, Mr. Joe Oliver. Uh, Caleb, you kind of gave me a little idea with the 1990 score and me drawing Joe Oliver in my pack. I might try to put together a 1990s Reds World Series, World Series champion collage by getting, you know, 90s cards of the members of the Cincinnati Reds for that season. Um, they beat old Storm Davis and Oakland Athletics in the World Series that year. Uh, just a phenomenal group of guys. Uh, so I might get that. So let's, let's display Mr. Joe Oliver. He's $5 a piece through the mail. Dan Petrie, I think I had to pay like $7 for it, but it goes to his charity. So let's scratch it on Mr. Joe Oliver. All right, there we go. That's three down. This one right here. first jeffrey dave was a good person and great teammate well i know who this is this is uh mr john grubb who was a, a close teammate of dave bergman um you can read a lot of uh a lot of stories that Johnny Grubb has of Dave Bergman. They came over to the Tigers uh, in 84, right about the same time. Both of them were uh, bench players. Uh, Dave coming to the Tigers from the Giants. And Johnny Grubb, I want to say he was with the Rangers and came over to the Tigers. And um, both of them, like I said, they just they just fed off each other, fed off each other's success. And he wrote at the top, thanks, Dave, Johnny Grubb, 84 World Series champions. Very, very nice. As y'all know, uh, Dave 
Bergman, he's deceased. He's no longer with us. So uh, part of Caleb's cards challenge, if you get a deceased player, to get somebody associated with that player to sign that card. And so I, I decided to get Johnny Grubb to uh, sign Dave Bergman's card. So hopefully, Caleb, you'll give me credit for that. All right, we keep on rolling here with Dave Bergman. Last one out of Portland, Oregon. Kid Carter was a person that was a true role model for work ethic, honesty, and the way to live a life. I am proud to sign this card, but on the back, Dan. This is Dan, um, I think he pronounced his last name, Wathan. Uh, Dan Wathan was Gary Carter's uh, roommate back when he and Gary were coming up in the Montreal Expos organization. Dan Wathan, um, he made it to the majors um, right around the same time Gary did, and then um, Dan was later traded, I think. And um, he's got a lot, he's got a lot of, 